Hey there, bar is open, so let's review the whole garden peach. Hi there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. As mentioned, today we'll be reviewing the Whole Garden Peach. Now, I have previously reviewed both the Whole Garden and the Whole Garden Rosé. And while I enjoyed the original, I wasn't a big fan of the Rosé. So let's see how this measures up. And it is retailing at around 580 Singapore dollars per can. For that, you will get a 500 ml can, as you can see, but with 3% alcohol content. And it comes across, you know, a really attractive uh, packaging, plus instructions on how to drink. So you're going to serve it chilled, pour two thirds of the can, swirl, and then top it off. So let's hope I don't spill anything. Now, I don't actually have the whole garden glass. I just like generic glasses. But of course, if you want to sponsor me, your brand's going to be very prominent. And as usual, how I review my beers would be, I will describe how the beer looks, smells, and tastes. Now, as promised, you're going to pour two thirds, swirl, and then top it off. But before that, I just want to tell you, I can already smell the peach just by opening the can the peach smell wafted out and it's right up my nose. It's a pleasant peach smell. I've smelled artificial ones. This is more pleasant. And pouring two thirds of the can. I just realized I should have used a bigger glass, but you know, we're gonna swirl it a little bit and top it off. And color wise, you can see it, it, there's a hint of the wheat beer color, you know, that the wheat beer pale yellow color, uh, which is a bit cloudy as well, paired with a pinkish hue, you know, an uh, orangey pinkish hue from the peach. So color wise, it already looks the part and I'm this far away, but the smell of the peach is just coming over. I'm really enjoying the smell. And the smell, to describe it, um, you, have to, you have to open up a can or a bottle of whole garden first to, to have the wheat beer smell. Beautiful banana-ish kind of smell. Mix that with peach. And, and when I say mix it, I mean mix it beautifully, blend it, craft it beautifully. That's what I'm getting, a very nice banana peach smell. I'm, I'm topping off the beer as much as I can. So let's see how the taste goes. Taste test. The initial taste was a bit of a shock. Um, it didn't feel like it blended, the initial taste. After two to three seconds, suddenly the taste started to mix well and it goes down well. However, it is the peach that overpowers everything. So I do know this whole garden. I can taste the whole garden wheat beer. It's definitely there. But because the peach is so strong, it feels like the ratio of the whole garden wheat beer is a bit lower compared to the peach flavor. This is definitely a beer for somebody who prefers a sweet beer, a sweet fruity beer. This belongs to that category. In that aspect, I think it's very similar to the rosé because it's just a little bit too sweet for me. It's a very enjoyable beer, do not get me wrong. It's just that for me personally, I probably prefer something a little bit more bitter, a bit more alcoholic tasting, if you will. This is a very sweet and happy drink, which is extremely refreshing. I highly recommend this one. It's just not for me. Hey there, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and opinions. They're not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to find out what you think about this whole garden peach. You know, have you tried it recently? Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. If you're still here, do help me click on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell, because I do try to upload at least once a week. 
And if you know of anyone interested in watching such reviews, do help me send them the link to the video as well. And as always, happy drinking! <laughs>